Thank you, Dave. And I want to thank Dave Wyeth and the Hendricks County Farm Bureau for all of the work that was so hard to get this uh, debate together. Thank you very much. It's good to be here and to be back in this hall with so many uh, good friends for so many years. It's a great day to be an American. It's a great day every day to be an American, but it's especially a great day to be an American today. Because today, this debate is a demonstration of American democracy at work. Our government in Washington has failed us. But here in America, the people are in charge. The people can compare the candidates, and they should. The people can change the direction of our government, and we must. We must change our weakened economy, our failed energy policy, and our broken promises to our veterans. We must reduce excessive health care costs and our huge national debt. Most of all, we must change the culture of Congress, where partisanship has replaced principle and political power and perks are more important than results on real problems. I have had a lifetime of preparation for this responsibility. I grew up on a farm family farm a few miles from where I now live. My grandparents were immigrants and worked as a farmhand and as a maid until they saved enough money to buy our Indiana farm in 1905. My sister and I now own and manage that farm. I started attending Farm Bureau meetings with mom and dad when I was in grade school. And since then, I've attended hundreds of county, district, Indiana, statewide, and national Farm Bureau meetings. I was fortunate to be state president and then national president of the FFA. I studied agriculture at Purdue and then received a full scholarship to law school. Three years ago, Purdue honored me with the honorary degree of Doctor of Agriculture. During my law school, my first job was for Republican Senator Richard Luger, who was then mayor of Indianapolis. And my second public position was for Democratic Senator Burge Bayh when I worked on the staff of the United States Senate. They both remain very good friends, and I admire both of them. So you see, my commitment to bipartisanship goes back a long, long way. I've been an attorney and member of the Indiana Bar for more than 30 years. I've also held offices in Washington, D.C., elsewhere in the United States, and overseas. I've been a champion of many causes that are central to what we will debate today. Promoting new energy to reduce our dependence on foreign oil, creating incentives for economic growth, opening foreign markets for American products, defending property, uh, private property rights, and fighting unwise government regulations. I have stood up to the federal government, state governments, former foreign governments, and some of the most powerful corporations in the world when they were wrong. I have not backed down. I will always listen but I will refuse to let those who would rep those I represent to be bullied. Many in this crowd know me and know that about me. I want to bring this experience and my commitment to represent the people of all of the 4th District in Congress. I pledge to be a leader, not just a voter, for the people of this district. Thank, Thank you, Nelson. Congressman Booyer, you have three minutes. by 
the Indiana Farm Bureau. And that's why I have received your endorsement every election, and I have embraced that endorsement of the Indiana Farm Bureau because it's meaningful to me. Let me also turn and thank my wife, Joni. Joni and I met in the third grade. Our ancestors both came from Alsace Lorraine along the Rhine. Little did our ancestors know that our great grandparents would own farms right across the street from each other, and our grandparents. My father owns three farms. I married a farmer's daughter. I worked the soils of the land also when I was a very young man. For seven years, my brother and I would take uh, pitchforks and clean out the sheep manure out of the barn. I know what it's like when you had an older brother with the sheep manure right in front of your face. I now think when, uh, when I tell Joni when I can't find the car keys, I lost those memory cells at a very young age, my dear. I also uh, want to thank Joni because we raised our family here in Indiana. I had made that decision that I thought it was important. So I would get up at 3.45 every week in the morning on that Monday and go to Washington, D.C. and come back. So raising my family here in Indiana is a commitment that Joni and I have had, and you've been by my side, and I want to thank you for that opportunity to do great things for this country. The other is, I'll let you know that I am also a, a proud grandfather. Uh, Colleen graduated from Purdue School of Pharmacy. I gave birth to, to uh, a little boy six months ago. My son Ryan graduated from Ball State, and he's my roommate in D.C. And I think that's pretty cool that he's there with me now. Congressman, thank you. With that, we are ready to begin the uh, question portion of the...